just arrived in St. Louis and Jess has no idea. Guess what? What? Can I open it now? Yeah. Do you know why you're opening it in St. Louis? It's a mystery. currently in the parking lot of a gas station in Tucson, Arizona. Justin said we needed to stop here so that we could pick up a package from an Amazon locker that's essential for an upcoming mystery date. If you watched our last mystery date video, you know that I planned a mystery date for Justin where we hiked up to a volcano in Guatemala and got pizza. So this It month, was so epic. <laughs> so this month it's his turn and I really have no idea what we're doing. Well, do you want to take any guesses? Um, origami? Mm, I don't think there's any way you're going to be able to guess what's in there, but I can promise you this much. This date is going to be out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, an iced latte with an extra shot of espresso. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Oh, thanks. Man, I'm not with it. Take care. Okay, it is a few days later. We had a pretty epic wedding last night, celebrating. We danced, we shouted. It was a good time. And I'm a little hungover, but I've got a few extra shots in my latte. We've basically got two options of where we can go this morning. We can either drive to central Illinois or southern Missouri. Both are in the path of totality. Unfortunately, both of them have a partly cloudy forecast for today. So I think we're just going to pick the place that has the longer totality. So we are headed to St. Genevieve, which is about two hours south of here. It's supposed to have almost four minutes of totality. And from what what we understand the actual first contact with the sun will actually start almost an hour beforehand. It's 9 a.m. right now, so we have two hours of driving. And my camera setup is a little janky because I don't think I prepared perfectly to film the eclipse, so we might need to like mess around with tape. So we better hit the road. Wow, the highway is like super busy. I guess it is rush hour. Like nine. I wonder if this is for the eclipse. You think all these people could be? I mean, I guess everyone from St. Louis could be heading south. It stands to reason to me that most people would be driving into St. Louis for work, whereas all of these people are driving actually away. Yeah, that's a good point. Wow. Yeah, I guess all these people could be driving to the eclipse too. We're on uh, 55 South. We actually used to live here in St. Louis and- uh, You're going to the middle of nowhere right now. Yeah, and it's like 9, 12 a.m. on a Monday. Every, I mean, this is all traffic headed away from St. Louis. So I just have, I mean, it's kind of crazy that there's thousands of people headed south in the middle of the morning when there's nothing south of us. I thought it would be pretty cool if we could put the drone up and maybe we could find like some secluded soccer field or something like that, but something tells me we might not have a, a private date. That's okay. Welcome to the rest of our mystery date. St. Louis. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to get to our solar eclipse viewing destination at 11 and now it says we're not supposed to get there till 12 and we've been stuck in this insane traffic now. We've only gone like 10 miles in the last hour. The eclipse isn't till 2 p.m., but it's the first contact starts at like 12.30, like an hour and a half before totality. And I was hoping we could see all of it. And now I'm a little worried that uh, we might not get to see it because of this accident here on the road. So, um, kind of worried this is pretty unlucky timing. Jess isn't worried though. She's sleeping off a bender. Right now, I'm just really grateful for adaptive cruise control. In 2017, when we lived in St. Louis, there was actually a solar eclipse here. So we saw the last one in the United States as well. Um, but St. Louis was kind of on the edge of the path of totality. And so it only lasted for a minute. This one's supposed to last for over four minutes. Well, I guess it really depends on where you go. Like right now where we are uh, about an hour north of Cape Girardeau, it's only supposed to last a minute. 
but for every 15 minutes further we drive south, it adds like another minute until we reach Cape Girardeau, where it's supposed to be like what? It's four minutes, four minutes and five seconds. Wow, so, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's so cool that we're gonna get to see four times as much as we did last time. We are almost out of the orange part, so Woo! I think we are finally, traffic is clearing up, and we are set to get to the eclipse at 1210. That should give us just enough time to get set up and maybe even go to Burger King for some lunch real quick. Woo woo woo! We're coming for you, eclipse! Are you guys recording the eclipse? That's you better the plan. believe it. Wow, you got quite the setup! <laughs> just for fun? Okay, cool. <laughs> well, have a good time. Thanks. See ya. It is so cute. We are in rural Missouri and all these people are out in their lawn chairs. Oh my God, look at these guys. Look at this telescope. <laughs> wow. That's, that's a, impressive. Uh, that's a huge <laughs> telescope. Whoa. Oh, really? I'm jealous too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> have fun. Take care. Wow. Look at all these people. <laughs> So we are just eating lunch and leaving Perryville and we saw all these people sitting outside of this park and uh, I think there's a change of plans and we're just gonna park here. Look at all these people. Oh my God. We're still an hour away and there's like a hundred people here. This is crazy. What a unique thing for all of these people who live in this small town. I love all this enthusiasm for astronomy. I don't remember the last eclipse in St. Louis having as much hype. I think it's probably because it wasn't as long, like we weren't such in the path of totality. Oh yeah, that's probably it. Okay, you ready to go get it? Let's do it. First I'm gonna finish my lunch. What you doing over here? Oh, okay, so unlike most people here who are photographing the eclipse, we are filming. Now, unfortunately, my ND filter only goes down nine stops and I need it to go down 16 and a half stops of light so it doesn't destroy my camera sensor. So I have half of an eclipse glass taped through a Burger King bag. And my plan is I'm gonna flip this down just to find the sun for videoing. And then when we have totality and it's safe to look at the sun, I'll flip this up and then hopefully we can video the eclipse for all of you. Oh, and this is a special eclipse tape. Actually, it's just scotch tape. But uh, yeah, I've got tons of extra tape here just in case I need it in a moment. Special setup, indeed. Oh, that's today's date, April 8th. Yeah. I'm Justin, by the way. I'm Dane, just like the dog. Dane? Dana. 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 Leanne. These two. Leanne. And you're all from Colorado. Yes. And we're sisters. We're oh, sisters. Wow. I went to Cody, Wyoming in 2017. Oh, okay. I went to the Ring of Fire in Cortez in October of last year. So y'all are eclipse chasers. I am. Okay. <laughs> I drove them along for the I ride. I wanted the shirt says, I'm along for the ride. I said no. <laughs> and y'all flew here? Drove, oh. drove. You drove? Okay. Yeah. In a oh, wow. Car. wow. Okay. And we did the mileage on the window, and now it says we're here, kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, generosity from strangers seems to be a common theme in our videos. Our friends from who drove here all the way from Colorado just gave us a blanket to sit on because we're basically traveling with a rental car and nothing else. Okay, so we showed up. We're getting set up. I've got my high-tech Burger King bag, solar shield on my camera. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think we might get lucky with the clouds. They're like very thin and wispy. Yeah, unfortunately, um, for the last like week, it said that it was supposed to be cloudy here. So, I mean, so far, knock on wood. Fingers crossed. Okay, so the lens cap is off. This is so janky. <laughs> All right, you wanna look here, let's see if we can see it on the screen. Where is it? Oh, Jess, look, look, whoa, that's crazy. Can you see it? Yeah. Wow, oh, that's so cool. You never get to look at the sun. I can't believe how sharp it is through this Burger King special. <laughs> Let's make this tall. Professional camera gear. Why are we bending over when I make the drive by dollar? That's unnecessarily difficult. Whoa, look at this, Jess. Look, you can see a sunspot. Wow, yeah, I definitely don't see that every day. Oh, dude, 
That's crazy. So I put the tape on the wrong spot. In case it's not clear, this is not a tutorial on how to film or photograph the sun. So I don't think- If, if you're you watching... do want to like MacGyver, the most janky kind of solar photography setup ever, then this is a tutorial. Wow. That's crazy. So when it is- the... I guess I could be doing this any time of the year, right? Yeah. Apparently now in the county we're in, we should start to see the eclipse happen. Oh, wait a second. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, Jazz, I think that's it. Ah! Oh, that's it. Oh yeah, you can see the little corner of wow. it. Wow. Wow. Dude. Dude. Oh, that's so cool. I know this is supposed to be a mystery day for you, but I feel like this may be a little more exciting for me. Wow, wow, you can see just a little sliver. Woo! That's so cool. <laughs> You're like that train guy. Yeah. Please insert a wow. clip of the train wow. guy. <laughs> oh my God! Woo! Listen to that horn! Oh, oh my God! Oh, she's beautiful! That's so neat. That is pretty cool. Whoa, that's so cool. It's also kind of wild that we were able to see a solar eclipse in 2017 because statistically there will only be one solar eclipse in the same spot every 400 years. So this is like very, very once in a lifetime, the once in many. The stars have aligned. The stars have aligned. So we're using the solar eclipse timer app. At 12.42, we got first contact. So that's the moment the moon first passes in front of the sun, and we're waiting for second contact, and that's when the moon is totally covering the sun, so that's called C2. And then between C2 and C3, when the sun starts to become visible again, that's our total eclipse. And if we look at our app, our total eclipse time based on where we're located is three minutes and 45 seconds. And let's take a look at the camera here. Let's see if we can get just a little bit closer so we can show the camera. Wow. So like, just keep in mind, we're looking through a really fuzzy lens. Like this is not great, but once we take the Burger King lens off of the uh, camera, man, it's gonna look so incredible. But look at that. Oh, that is so cool. That is really cool. Wow, that's unbelievable. One other fun fact that I just found out is that the next eclipse in North America isn't going to happen until 2044, so in 20 years. I feel like we're pretty lucky that we've gotten to see both solar eclipses right here in St. Louis. Wow. Can I tell you something? Yeah. You look super cool right Me? now. Yeah. <laughs> One more fun fact, solar eclipses only happen when the sun, the moon, and the earth are in total alignment or called syzygy. And more than anything, I just think that's a fun word, syzygy. That's amazing. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <sighs> I know. Dad, you know, yes. You know, it is so amazing. It's just one of those events that, what could you say other than wow? We, we've been playing the correct eclipse music for this. Okay. So we've got like 46 minutes of all eclipse and sun walking on the moon and mm. just all kinds of songs. Oh, you we got the playlist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know We're about 15 minutes away from the total eclipse and I don't know if you can hear it, but there's actually crickets and birds that have actually started at this point. So weird. So the sun is about halfway covered by the moon right now. I've heard multiple people say that if you're not in the path of totality, even if you're like a few miles outside of it, you're not gonna notice a huge difference with the light. Like it's gonna feel just as bright, but we've been sitting out here for like an hour now and the sun feels noticeably less harsh. It's like it- like cooler feeling. Yeah. yeah it, it's almost like somebody came in and turned the dimmer switch down just a smidge. All the mechanics from the uh, tire shop are sitting outside. 
<laughs> looking at the eclipse. This is really cute. This whole 20 town minutes is... until second contact. Observe sharp and fuzzy shadow edges. Okay. All right. So I guess here, let's take a, let's just take a look. Oh, speaking of shadow, I always wanted to try this. I just poked some holes in the side of these glasses. Here, can you hold this phone? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if I can cast this shadow. So I just poked some holes in these glasses. I've never tried this before. Oh, look at these. Look at that. Oh, that's so wow. weird. Wow, it's like a bunch of tiny, oh, they're little semi-circles. Want... How does that work? I that... guess. Yeah, how does that work? That's crazy. <laughs> That's so weird. They look like thumbnails. Or little moons. Yeah, little half little moons. It is so much cooler. I literally had to put my sweater back on. It probably has dropped 10 degrees. And I've got the drone up right now. I'll try to put this footage over the video here so we can see how much the light changes. So right now it looks pretty dark in the frame and just like three minutes ago, I had it perfectly exposed. And wow, it's so crazy to take my sunglasses off right now. Yeah. This is so weird. Oh gosh, this is so crazy. Man, the crickets. I cannot believe the crickets. Yeah, the crickets are pretty loud right now. I hope that the audio will pick it up. It's wow. kind of wild. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this. So there's where the eclipse is at. That's what our camera is seeing right now. Oh man, that is just a sliver just a few minutes to go. Feel the grass, it's like cold. Yeah. That's so nuts, wow. Yeah, I really hope that you can hear the crickets and birds. It's wild. When, in 2017, when I saw the last eclipse, I kind of noticed it a little bit, but it's so obvious right now. Also, all the cars have stopped. I don't know if you can, uh, yeah, check this out. Like before it was crazy, and now like everyone was driving back and forth and no one is on the road right now. It's also just so funny to never see people all staring up. Like, yeah. very unusual to just see hordes of people just staring at the sun. Okay, we are super close. Look at that. All right, so you wanna get in position? I'm in position. This is such a cool app. It's called Skyview, and there's a free and a paid version. Basically, it just lets you point at the sky and it uses augmented reality. So, like in this case, I can touch on the moon and I can see where it came from and then I can see where it's going. And if you notice, we're just three minutes before the eclipse starts. So, C1, contact one and it's almost totally overlapped and it's gonna take a little over an hour to make a, a total eclipse. We're very close here, we're just a few minutes away. I don't know if you can tell, but it literally looks like it's like Whoa. dusk out. Whoa. <laughs> it's like 1 p.m. So weird looking. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the street lights turned on. Just the street, yeah. the automatic street lights turned on. Oh my god, the street lights turned on! This is so weird. Yeah, it looks like it's like, look, look over there, Justin. It looks like it's sunset. That is crazy! Yeah. Woo! That's so cool! Wow! This is unbelievable! Oh, why do I even have these on? It looks like it's dark outside! This is crazy! Oh my God, this is <laughs> insane. Wow. Wait, can you look at the sun without your glasses? Yeah. With either... This is the only time, yeah, this is the only time oh you're- Oh my God, that's so wild looking. Yeah. Wow. wow you can just look, you can see the corona. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That's so You can cool. see the corona, dude. Wow, wow, <laughs> look at how dark it is. <laughs> This is unbelievable. I don't, like, it's so weird. We, I experienced this before and it's just different than I remember. I don't remember there being, it's like sunset out. Wow. It's so yeah, look behind us. It looks like it's sunset. Whoa. Whoa is right. Dude, that is so <laughs> nuts. Oh my God. That is so crazy. Wow. 
I love how there's just somebody, one person driving around like this is a totally normal experience. Yeah, wow, look at the street is totally dead. No one is driving. That is unbelievable. Wow. That is truly unbelievable. Wow. There's a plane up there. Can you imagine being on that plane? Oh my <laughs> god, yeah, that's right. Wow. Oh, you can't even see it with the eclipse glasses. No, like, you yeah. You can't see it at all. That's why I was wondering whether it was okay to look at it or not. Wow, that's so incredible seeing the corona. Oh my god, <laughs> this is so crazy. This is so cool. I want this to last for like an hour. Man, I'm so glad we drove to like the center of the zone of totality. Yeah, thank you, Jordan, for getting married this weekend so yeah, that we could yeah. be here. What a gift to us. Yeah. Man. Wow. And just like that, it is over. Man, wow. I can't. That didn't seem like four minutes. No, yeah, it I, so fast. I, oh my god. I wish that, wow. Whoa, what a neat experience. Wow, that is unbelievable. Okay, wow. Well, Jess, what do you say? <laughs> was this uh, was this mystery date out of this world? <laughs> it was, that's one of the craziest experiences of my life. Like, wow. legitimately, I've never, how, when do you have sunset at, 2 p.m. and then sunrise like a few minutes later. It was so dark. It was like it was nighttime. I cannot believe how dark that got. I can't even believe that you know. Yeah, the, the lights came out. That's crazy that the street lights popped on. No one was driving around. Such an eerie experience. I'll put the footage on the screen here. It was like literally dark outside. All of the lights turned on. That has to be, I cannot wait to look at that drone footage. Oh my God, this is I so cool. I can't wait for 2044 for the next eclipse. Well, now I think we have to go to Spain in a couple years next, to see the next, the next one. one. So we thought the video was going to end at the park, but uh, wow, we've been driving back. Really, it should take only about an hour to get from where we watched the eclipse to drop off our rental car. But uh, it's going to take a total of three hours. Our rental car is actually due back at five. And as you can see, our uh, GPS currently puts us back at 4.59. Traffic has been crazy. There has been accidents like everywhere. Like seven or eight accidents on the highway. It's been, uh, I think everyone's been driving so crazy. I think uh, a lot of other people like us underestimated just how many uh, people would be traveling to see the eclipse. And so people are just like, weaving in and out and like if you look on our map here it's just accident 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 like we've driven by maybe six or seven accidents so at this point i was worried about getting the rental car back in time before they close now i'm just worried we're gonna miss our flight i think renting from a branch that wasn't the airport was a mistake i know we were trying to save money but we saved like three hundred dollars well I we might end up spending a lot more than that if we miss this flight. We're supposed to get to the rental car agency at 5.33. The it's airport just, is 20 minutes away. I think we need to contemplate returning the car to the wrong rental car agency. I think we need to take it to the Enterprise at the airport. I don't think so. I know you don't, but we're probably going to have to make that decision pretty soon. I bet we're not going to get to the rental car agency till after 6 at this point. I mean, even if that's true, our plane doesn't board until seven. I just, I'm not worried about it. It'll be fine. We have like no time. And uh, Jessica is literally crawled into the trunk of the car as we're inching through stop and go rush hour traffic. Don't do this at home. Guys. She's grabbing all the shit out of our trunk and packing it up as we're moving five miles an hour. And at one point her legs were touching the ceiling and the lady in that car behind us was like, what the f is she doing? It's also super classy because I'm wearing a skirt. Oh yeah, she's putting on a show for the cars next to us. You're welcome.
now GPS puts us at the car rental agency at 6 um, and our flight leaves at 7. The car rental agency is about a 20 minute drive uh, to the airport and that's just kind of cutting. I'm guessing that the airport is going to be crazy crowded too because if this is what traffic is like, I can't imagine what the airport's going to be like. Um, so now we're considering doing dropping the car off at the airport instead of the other car rental agency. It's $100 and that's not <laughs> great, um, but obviously. But I, I think that's going to be a lot cheaper than missing our flight. Yeah, we're, we've like really been stuck in this one particular section of traffic for a really long time. Basically, we're going to go for like 15 more minutes and then if we're through this congested part, uh, great, we're probably going to go straight to the rental car agency where we're supposed to drop off at, and then we're probably going to make sure that we have a, we, oh crap, we got to get gas too. This sucks. Wow. This is I just would have never guessed that, like, literally this drive is an hour. I would have never guessed that it's it would be taking four, take four hours. hours to drive back. Like, I'm so glad we did not go further south. We were going to drive to Cape Girardeau, was our... Which is, which is another 30 minutes yeah. south of where we were. But, you know, we didn't do that because we wanted to set up faster. I'm so glad we didn't go any further south because there's absolutely no way we would have made our flight home tonight. I don't, I don't know. If we do make the flight home tonight, it'll be cutting it super close. Yeah, I'm really nervous to see what the airport is like. I cannot believe how bad traffic is and like we were looking at the license plates of the cars around us and it's like Tennessee, Kentucky, Wisconsin, Michigan. I think like, you know, tens of thousands of people have flocked here to see the eclipse, which like totally get it very cool but unfortunately that means that there's just a lot more people on the highway and at the airport yeah sorry this is not like the best date everybody likes dates that end in overage fees and yeah possible we've never missed a flight yeah, we've, we've taken never, hundreds of flights and yeah, have never missed one. Never return a car late. No. At least our job is flexible, so like we don't have to take a PTO day if we do miss the flight. Like, so that's I guess a silver lining, but uh, it still sucks. I mean, nobody wants to pay hundreds of dollars in late fees, and I guess not only is it a hundred dollar drop fee to return the car to the wrong location, but I also, like, if we have to do that, I also don't think we're going to be filling up the gas tank. And we only have enough gas to get us 64 miles. And I think it was an extra 20 miles to the airport. So, like, we're going to be, <laughs> we are also at risk of running out of gas. So, we are going to have to pay a $100 drop fee to return the car to the wrong spot. We are at risk of running out of gas. And we're going to have to pay a lot of money to have them refuel because we didn't prepay for gas. So I think moving forward, I'm gonna prepay for gas. So yeah, this mystery date is not turning out quite as hope. I'm sorry. Not out of this world. Not out of this world. So we made the decision to take the car to the uh, airport enterprise drop-off location. Our GPS puts us there at 6.09, which is 50 minutes before our flight starts boarding. Um, I also think that we have to take a shuttle from that, so I, I'm just not feeling very confident. But we are about 10 minutes away from the rental agency. Um, we are going to stop and get gas because they were unable to tell us how much it would cost if we didn't refuel it. And from what I was finding online, it was like anywhere between 10 and $20, which is kind of absurd. So hopefully five minutes of stopping and getting gas isn't the difference between us missing our flight or not. All right, we are one mile from the gas station. The empty gas light just turned on, so we're cutting it really close here. We dropped the rental car off, and now are just waiting for the shuttle. Flight's in 35 minutes. I don't know if we're gonna make it. That's my stress level. Yeah. Yes, Okay, well, we made it. Looks like they're literally boarding right now. Jess, how was your mystery date? Chaotic ending, but very, very, very cool 
main part. Well, we didn't miss the flight. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow our adventures from Key West, the southernmost point in the United States, up to Tuktoyaktuk, the farthest north you can drive in North America. And we'll see you next time. Bye.